Samsung just released stable version of One UI 6 for Galaxy S23 series, finally, after 9 betas. And here are my top tips and tricks which will make your life easier until you are using One UI 6, so let's move on. You can see my S23 Ultra is using One UI 6 and Android 14, so we are with latest and greatest. First, let's start with the trash, in One UI 6, Trash bin unites deleted items from gallery and my files and now you can find them in one place. This is very very useful, instead of searching them you can find them directly in trash bin. So let's open gallery, select this photo and we can just delete it. Move to recycle bin, alright, I will move it and now I will open my files and delete this photo for example, let's just hit delete. Now if you open my files and scroll to the bottom you will find utilities recycle bin. If you tap in recycle bin you will find both items we just deleted. One from the gallery and one from my files. And if you open gallery and tap here and select recycle bin it will just lead you to the same two images and also other images. So. Trash bin now unites the deleted items from gallery and my files application which is very useful. Next drag and drop future, this will make your life a lot more easier. Now if you open gallery for example, let's go outside of recycle bin and from here you select an image or two, ok, now let's just hold and we already dragged these two images, I am now dragging them but I want to move them in a separate application, so I will use my thumb to go to the home screen, from here I will tap to that folder and open Samsung Notes and I will just leave these two images here, now I just paste these two images here in Samsung Notes and you know what's the best here? If we select a text for example, this one and just hold a finger on it I just drag the text again, let's now move to Samsung Notes one more time and just leave the text here and now you can see with this drag and drop feature between the apps we can just paste the text and images just like on iOS, this is very useful for multitasking. Next control panel, now with the One UI 6 if we swipe down you can see we have a new control center which a different layout and so on, but we won't speak about this, we will speak about this new feature. If you swipe here, you can see only the top uh, toggles are here and we need to swipe again one more time to open every toggle. But if we swipe down again and just tap here on the pencil, we have here the option quick settings instant access and if we enable that option. Pull down from the top right corner of the screen to access the full quick settings panel without notifications. Ok, let's do this. So if you just swipe on the upper right corner like this, this will bring the full panel down and you can check everything you want. If you swipe here, you will receive just the top toggles but on the upper right corner this will bring directly the whole quick access panel. Next we have a new feature in settings, security and privacy, scroll down and you will find that auto blocker, let's open it and you can see we have tons of security options, blocks apps from unauthorized stores, only apps from authorized stores can be installed, turns on app security check, every application installed uh, on your phone will be checked for malicious activity. Blocks common by USB cable, malicious chargers, computers and other devices won't be able to send commands to your phone when connected using USB cable. And also we have other security features like messaging app protection, block images suspected of containing malware in messaging apps, also block software updates by USB cable, prevent installing of system software using a USB cable. So that auto blocker is another cool tip and you can use it daily. Next you know that feeling when you are using a light team, for example right now dark mode is disabled, I will just enable it and you open YouTube for example, now it's in dark mode, but if you switch your device to 
light mode everything is going to light mode and if i open youtube it will go white again and i had that i want some applications to be always dark and here comes the next future if you go in settings and search for labs open it and here you will find that new future dark mode apps if you open it and you just enable it you can see now i'm using a white team and if i open youtube probably we need to relaunch it and it will be in dark mode so wherever you enable a light mode or dark mode youtube will be always dark for now it's only youtube here but probably samsung will implement more applications here in that dark mode apps so stay tuned for that next we have a cool new widget let's just check it open widget scroll down you will find camera tap on it and here we have a custom camera just hold your finger here and place it somewhere on your home screen when you place it you will find these options title on widget you can title it starting mode here comes the important part you can select to start the camera with rear or front camera also you can select a specific mode for the camera you can select a photo mode portrait video pro and pro video night i will just select night and when you are ready just go back and hit save this will put uh, that widget on your home screen and if i tap it you can see what's happened it is directly starting here the night mode in my rear camera and of course you can edit the widget tap on settings select starting mode and if you are one of these selfie lovers you can select front camera and select portrait mode directly so now when you launch it hit self and now we have here the selfie camera with portrait mode you can select where to save the pictures and videos and widget background you can select a specific uh, background for the widget you can select whatever picture you want as a background of that widget next tip is for all of you that hates samsung is missing zero shutter lock or the moment you try to take a picture and it's always blurry and you just miss the moment because of missing zero shutter lock on samsung devices here comes the new future coming with one ui6 if you open the camera tap on settings and select advanced intelligence options here came the quality optimization you can select maximum quality as i'm now you can select a medium speed up capture time by doing less optimizations and also you can select a minimum take pictures as fast as possible do not optimizing pictures after they are taken so you can select even the minimum i will select medium and maximum in maximum quality you can of course enable or disable scene optimizer if i select medium or minimum and i disable just the camera ai this camera will start working very very fast i will just show you now the shutter is a lot more faster let's select the maximum quality and go back you can see the difference in real time so this is a very useful feature for all of you who hate blurry images let's move to the next one we just received lots of customizations on the lock screen with one ui 5.1 but here with one ui 6 we have something more if you hold the finger on the lock screen you know we already can change everything here in the clock we can change the clock style the clock font and lots of things here can be changed but now what's new you can move the clock on the lock screen and you can put it wherever you want before that it wasn't possible but now you can move it on the upper left corner down on the left right or upper right corner and if you hit done you can see now the clock is moved to the upper right corner and this is for everyone which loves the lock screen wallpaper and this was every new and useful tip and trick coming with one ui6 so you can start using them now and thank me by subscribe to my channel and like my videos thanks for watching and have a nice day